ओके सो बिफोर वी स्टार्ट इफ यू आर न्यू ऑन माई चैनल और इफ यू डिड नॉट सब्सक्राइब माई चैनल जस्ट गो टू माई चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सब्सक्राइब मेक श्योर दैट क्लिक ऑन दिस बेल बटन एंड चेक मार्क दिस सेंड मी ऑल नोटिफिकेशन फॉर दिस चैनल एंड क्लिक ऑन सेव बाय डूइंग दिस यू विल गेट एवरी सिंगल अपडेट ऑफ माई न्यू वीडियोज ऑल्सो विजिट माई चैनल आई एम श्योर दैट यू विल फाइंड अ लॉट मोर कूल स्टफ ऑन माई चैनल this video we are going to create a shimmer photo effect in photoshop cs6 extended it will be fun so let's jump in photoshop Welcome back everyone. My name is Dinan Chaudhary from Tasty Tutorials and today we will create a shimmer photo effect. And uh, before we start, uh, I just want I just want to sh share one thing with you that uh, uh, my exams are going to start from 25th of uh, uh, Feb. So I hope uh, you will understand if you if if I sometimes if sometime I am I got late. So if I am going to late uh, then. Keep in mind that I am busy in my exams, uh, but I will try to provide your video uh, on daily basis. But if someday I, I, I fail to upload any video, then uh, whatever I can say that uh, keep in mind that I am busy in my exams. So uh, after that, you know that you know me. I am just working on daily basis on this channel, and I hope uh, you also understand my busyness. So uh, I hope you will not mind. But uh, one one more thing is that. Uh, please share this channel to your friends because I want to make this platform as big as possible. Because uh, uh, most of the Photoshop things are, you know, that it's, it's always premium, so you cannot get uh, free premium things. But uh, I am providing. I have already provided you about. Uh, we can say that uh, a lots of things on this channel are free of cost. But I can say that everything is free on this channel. So. Uh, you should have to save share it with your friends uh, it's a uh, great uh, work for me and uh, if you really want to if you want that uh, i will uh, i will uh, include your uh, we can say that your creations in my videos then make sure that if you are creating something special you just have to save send this uh, on my facebook page facebook page link is given in the description bar you can go to that link and message me uh, your created data Uh, if I uh, if I like that uh, thing, I will really uh, share it with uh, you uh, on in any of my videos, or we can say that on upcoming of my videos. So uh, make something special, and uh, I will give you a shout out. So I hope you like this idea. And uh, after that, let's jump back to our video and let's move to the examples, so you could be get understand about what we are going to create today. So today, uh, this is a simple image. After running our actions, the final look like uh, it will be look like this. And uh, there are lots of color options here, so you can change the color variations from here. There are about fifteen or ten uh, color variations in included in this uh, action file, and you can adjust the sharpness and colors. So this is the final effect. And uh, let's move to the next image. This is a simple image. After running our actions, the final effect will be look like this. you can see that gives a nice look and uh, uh there are lots of things which we can edit that like this one uh you can increase the area of this image like just click on this black and select your brush tool sorry brush tool and then go to this black move to make it white and size it up a little bit and you will see that it is uh it will be clear that area like this and uh, you can see that much betterly and uh this is the foreground particles these are background particles you can see that and uh, this is the background tilt you can turn this on or off it's uh, your choice uh, i think in some images you can use it or in something in some images you don't need to use them this is the blur detail you can use this or not again it's your choice and uh, this is it let's just close this one and move to the next example uh, let's just close and move to the next example this one 
uh, you can see that this is simple image and after running our actions it will look like uh, this and uh, it gives a nice look to your image and it will blur the background from your uh, unselected area so this is the effect and let's just move to the next example after running our actions it will look like this have a look on that it looks much nice and beautiful and create some curves according to the uh, image of this uh, video photo let's move to the next example this beautiful image and uh, running our actions it will look like this you can increase and decrease the blur area and uh, it's uh, all on your choice and it's your uh, opinion how much you make blur the background okay so let's just close this one also and let's just close this one too and we will uh, make today we will uh, create two examples so let's just start with that delete these both things and uh, before running our actions make sure that you are using high definition image if you don't have high definition image these actions will also work on uh, lower examples or we can say that lower definition images and uh, one more thing is that uh, before run these actions make sure that you have a rgb image with 8 bit per channel mode and after that just go to the uh, side panel of your layers and click on this icon and go to panel options from the panel options make sure that you have checked on add copy to copy layers and groups so click on ok right after that we will create a new layer we will double click that and name this layer as brush make sure that the name is in lower case and uh, after that select a brush tool and now we will select our colors so you can use any of your colors uh, I am going to use this green color you can use blue red green any type of color it doesn't matter we just want to give directions to the actions so let's just select the area which we want to apply or we, uh, we which we don't want to blur so simply I am just making this area uh, like this and like this that's it and uh, fill the selection carefully because all the effect will be outside of this selection so make sure that you are doing a right step so size it up and now we will make it a little bigger so we could get more area for effect so that's it uh, I've done my selection and now what we'll do is we will simply just go to this action file if you don't see this icon just go to windows and click on actions okay and uh, after that let's just delete the previous one so I could load a new one okay so now we just click on this icon and click on load actions from the load actions just click on sh uh, shimmer uh, when you download this there is a file which is uh, named shimmer you can use this in Photoshop CS6 only so make sure that you're using CS6 version click this file action file and uh, select this one and click on load after loading you will see that uh, extract that and you will see that there are lots of options here okay we just need to download, run these actions so before we run our actions make sure that uh, everything is ready and we don't need to go to purge because the purge step is already included in this so we just need to click on the shimmer and click on play button and now we will wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete and you can see that it uh, it is done very nicely uh, the effect is much better and better I love this effect because of these lights and type of blurring of this background and let's just close these all groups at once so we just click on control alt and uh, click on uh, this adjustments and it will close everything at once and now we'll open the shimmer photo effect and then we'll make sure that which will be nice for us so let's see these are our bouquet uh, this is the uh, glow and uh, this is the overall look uh, you can choose or not it's your choice so and uh, this is the background wallpaper which is used for blur and you can use or not it's uh, your choice again and uh, whatever uh, what else is uh, you can just turn this down a little bit and make it a little bit more visible so make this uh, opacity to about 50 percent after that close this one and we have some adjustments there is a brush which we have used to selection so close this one and now we have color variations and some adjustments so you can use these adjustments or not it's your choice so 
let's just uh, use this and open the adjustment so let's just see how much colors we have we have 10 colors there as I showed you in the example let's just close this one and see the other colors some because some colors are matte like this one and some are uh, like sharp colors okay so uh, be careful which color you are using so uh, I am fine with the first one which is much better and uh, that's it uh, in this example we have done this one and let's just save this and we'll move to the next one so this one we will delete this and now we'll run from the very basic uh, what we'll do is again we'll go to this uh, action file and uh, uh, and click on this shimmer and click on play button and before we uh, run make sure that you have done clear everything and now just uh, we just need to go to new layer and we will name this layer as uh, brush as in lowercase again we will select our brush tool and we will change the front color to any of the colors so I am going to use this red one and the opacity is you can see that uh, are very small opacity is 0% hardness 0% I would like to make it about like 60 to 70 percent you can use uh, the opacity so and now I will fill the area like this that's it and we will fill this also like this one now we will make the hardness through 0% and then we will fill this area that's it now we will simply just go to this actions and we will click on shimmer and we will click on play this button and we will wait for the process to complete its work okay so the process is complete we we'll just close everything here and you can see that the final effect will give you amazing look like this uh, I love this effect again because uh, these type of effects look much better so you can change the color variations and uh, other things like uh, foreground background and uh, you can use the genuine one or not it's your choice and uh, add color versions different type of color versions are available here and uh, you can make changes and you can create your own so i hope you like this video and if you like this video make sure to give this video a thumbs up all the files are given in the description bar make sure to read that description because i have always always give that link in description and i hope you like this video uh, we will meet in our next video never stop and keep learning